hello hello welcome back my name is Chanid and if this is your first time looking at this pretty beat face of mine in this robe so you can hit that subscribe button down below hit your post notifications if you have not done so so today we are going to be doing a little story time uh this story time is juicy as hell um i did a story time back in october of the part one of my first college party which was a college party that i threw on my own in my seat freshman year this is part two the long-awaited part two of the story time oh lord this is about to spoil all my tea everything's gonna fall out goodness gracious but it's been like almost five years so we'll be good like i think we'll be good with telling this whole story time i don't think anybody gonna come for me like honestly but wait hold up if you have not watched part one make sure you watch part one in full down below the link in my description box because y'all gotta really watch it so you can understand why i did what i did and i'm gonna start from like the end of that video I just don't want no church folk coming at me either. I don't want no church, church folk coming at me either for this video. Goodness gracious. But this is my truth, okay? Things happen, okay? You know? So, part two. We are going to commence. Now. <laughs> so, we got busted or whatever at my party at the end. Okay? And this little... And then everyone left. Pretty much everyone left except for... I think in the other story time, I, I called him Patrick. My friend Patrick. Yeah, my friend Patrick. <laughs> my friend Patrick at that time, um, he, he kind of lingered around. Of course he lingered around. He was going to. Um, and everyone else left. Like, all the, everybody else in our friend group left. It was like about five or six of us at that time. But... Everyone else left. Patrick lingered around because somebody else lingered around. Ratface, right? Ratface was lingering around in my suite, okay? <laughs> he was lingering around, lingering around in my suite, you know, just walking around, walking in and out of my room. Let me get serious. Okay, so I brought old boy to my room. I brought Ratface to my room. And we were just feeling on each other a little bit. And Patrick was still there. Um, he was pretty much trying to get Ratface out of my suite because he knew what was really about to go down. Like, he was really trying to get him out of my suite. And he was really trying to get me to tell him to get out of my suite, honestly. Because he knew what was about to happen was about to be super messy. So, <laughs> but yeah. Patrick was really like, come on, girl. Like, come on, Jimmy. Like, really, like, get him out your suite. You're drunk. Like, you're drunk. Get it together. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. This shit is so funny. Okay, I need to really just tell this story instead of laughing. Oh my god. <laughs> and okay, so I got Patrick. No, no. I got Rafi's on my bed, okay? I got him on my bed. And then I pretty much sat on him. But you know, I, I really sat on him where my junk is like you know my legs are kind of spread over him i guess yeah you know my poom poom is over his you know his little doggy dog whatever you know <laughs> i was like sitting on him that way you know and we're like facing each other of course you know i love that position and that's when pat that's when uh what's his name i guess his, he was in the bathroom he was still in the vicinity but i guess he was in a bathroom um while i was doing all that uh what's his name Patrick, I guess his name's not really Patrick. I'm like trying to like not say his name, but <laughs> I was trying to. Yeah, he was. I guess he was in the bathroom. Then he, when he came back into my room, he was like shocked. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, no, what are you doing? And he was really trying to get me off of him. And he was like, you know, why are you all up on him and stuff? And then, I, you know, eventually he left. Because Ratface didn't want to leave, and I didn't want Ratface to leave at that point. So, he closed uh, on his way, on Patrick's way out. He shut the door and let me handle my business, you know? I think, was the door closed? Because nobody else in the suite, out of like, what, what, like five, six people were there. No one else was like in the suite. Um, 
they all went out somewhere like i said before they went somewhere i don't know but so i had to see to myself to do whatever i wanted so i was in my room and i had no roommate of course well i said in another video i had no roommate so i just we kind of hooked up you know uh but that's not it so honestly this was my first time Honestly, it was like <laughs> it was like the black china sex tape. Since it was my first time, it was really like the black china sex tape. Um, like legit, it was it was like that. That's what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, I didn't know. You know, I'm so oh my god, I was so savage. Like I was really trying to get back at my so-called friend at the time who was all up on my crush. I got back like 20 times harder goodness gracious but yeah i that was we were you know before i actually i didn't when i got to you know that wasn't the first time i did okay that was not the first thing i did i did not do i did not suck anything new first okay you know we were doing some kissing or whatever some hugging he was a cool kisser i think right i don't remember oh and there was something else i did this is unforgettable okay i also <laughs> i'm dragging the story <laughs> It was my first time sucking it again, but then I started getting sober again when I was sucking it. And so I realized who I was, well I knew who I was sucking, I knew who I was sucking. And it was like, it's wrong for me to really be sucking him, like on both of our parts. Cause him, he's like, he was pretty much talking to my so-called friend at the time. But he's in bed with me, like that's effed up. I mean, what I was doing was effed up. Because of that, I wanted to punish him. So... Well, I was sucking dick. I bit him purposely. I bit him softly, okay? I bit his dick softly. It wasn't that hard, okay? I didn't bite his dick off. But I did give him, like, a little bite on his dick. It did hurt him. And I, that was pretty much it, though. Like, he was done after that. Wait, wait, was he done after that? I don't know. I don't know how we stopped hooking up, but we. It was. I wasn't right after that. Like, oh, I was hurting him, and he wanted to stop. I don't think that's what happened. But we eventually stopped hooking up some point after because i was really sobering up i was like oh my god what am i doing like yo this is wild like my nigga like what are you doing what's in your mouth like what's wrong with you i remember even days after not even the day after i was crying about it and it was it wasn't because i i stuck my friend's crush it was because of that it was honestly because um i felt like my innocence was being taken away from me I just felt bad like I you know I was like Jesus <laughs> what, what did I say I was upset because I was like what if my future husband gets mad at me because I wanted to save myself from marriage like I, I really wanted to and I didn't want to do something like that with like a complete stranger well a year later all that went out the window but I was really upset about that like yo I was I was really sad. I was like Jesus. I was like I hurt Jesus's feelings. It looks like something's not blended, but I'm looking in the mirror. Everything's blended. I don't understand why it looks like something's not blended up here. But it's too late. Like my face is already set. Mm. <laughs> right face left. My sweet. After we were done doing what we were doing. The day after, um, every like my friend group told me what was going on while I was um doing what I was doing so after everybody left apparently my friend and they went to Miss Thanks room and they were chilling but Patrick knew what was going on like he knew that I was hooking up with what's his name but they didn't tell her they didn't tell Miss Thing that well he didn't tell Miss Thing but Patrick did tell the other like our other little friends that like around that time like that that time they were like at Miss Thing's room, but probably when Miss Thing went to the bathroom or something, like he told everybody. But they never told Miss Thing that night. They never told her. So, <laughs> so Miss Thing was just, you know, uh, she was kind of waiting for Rat Face to come back to uh, pretty much the building. Like he didn't know where he was. Um, he didn't know that he was with me. <laughs> Rat Face did go to Miss Thing that same night, like probably an hour or 30 minutes after I finished, after he left my room to to tell Miss Thing that, hey, I hooked up with your friend. And then apparently she said, <laughs> apparently she said, oh, it's okay. 
this is gossiping is this is this wrong for me to say but you but yeah apparently she said it's okay and they hooked up that night too so rat face had the both of us that night which is crazy like she was silent that whole day for some reason like she was silent she acted like nothing happened between me and Ratface. Like it was so weird at the table when we sat for like lunch, dinner, and breakfast from Saturday and from like Saturday and Sunday for like the rest of the weekend. Cause she acted like everything was fine, like everything was like normal, but nothing was not. Like I was like weirded out every time when I sat over there. Cause it was like I mean I wasn't that weirded out because I had my other friends there too, but it was weird because the atmosphere atmosphere was just weird with everyone except for her like she was acting like nothing happened for some reason but then Monday came around and apparently she had like a huge breakdown and was like crying cause I did what I did I feel, I mean when I heard that I felt bad but okay this is the thing like I talked about in my other story time more so no like the first story time about my first college fight I that, that fight was like two or three months after this all happened no it was actually a month. It was like a month after this all happened. So, because, oh goodness gracious. Because this girl, she was a bit of a bully. She was not that nice. She really, she really wasn't. She took advantage of me because I was really quiet. Like, I used to be really quiet. And, uh, and I just would let people take advantage of me, I guess. And I would never stand up for myself either. Like, I was just quiet. Like, she threw a sandwich in my face. So... <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna put that I might put that story down below I think I'm gonna put that story down below in the link too <laughs> so this was like the final chapter well not final chapter the final chapter was the fight the actual fight that happened but um that will be posted down below that was our like our last chapter together as being friends pretty much and all this happened in one semester. Ain't that crazy? All this stuff happened in one semester. My first semester of college was just so much drama. Like, it's crazy. But, um, but, um, yeah, that's it. Um, choose your friends wisely, guys. I had an actual friend who told me before freshman year started. Before I even went to college. Like, probably before I even graduated high school. Or maybe right after I graduated high school. That there's a certain girl who's going to that school, you should be aware of her. But did I listen? I did listen, but not really, because when I found out the girl's name, it was already too late. We already spent the whole day together. I already felt obligated to be a friend. I wanted to be nice or whatever, I guess. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, just choose your friends wisely. Listen to other people's advice about a person. If they tell you that this person's fishy, she's messy, she's not a loyal, good friend or whatever, like, she, this girl really had me out of my character, like, <laughs> This girl brought me out of my character a few times. <laughs> but, uh, we're not friends anymore, so that's good. Like, that's, we, we on to better and bigger things. That was, like, years ago. Like, really, you gotta really choose your friends wisely. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's all I really gotta say about that. But, um, on that note, goodness gracious. This is what... This is what Everclear does too, yo. That's like thought juice. Like, don't drink Everclear too. That's my second message. Don't drink Everclear. Because <laughs> don't, just don't drink Everclear. Don't drink it. <laughs> like, really. Um, but yeah, that's my story. I think that's the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope that y'all like it. Y'all can share it, I guess. The people I know better not share it. But everybody else can share it. <laughs> Everybody else can share this video. I do not want people coming, calling my mom or, or whatever. Like, honestly, this is between us, okay? Like, really. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope that you liked that story time. And stay tuned for my next video, which should be Monday. Okay, so deuces.